Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher. And uh, I didn't realize this in the last episode. After we defeated Javed and came back to Vizima. We're actually in the epilogue right now. So uh, close to the finish. I'm probably going to end it in this episode. Probably be the last one. Hey, where'd Triss go? Oh, she probably went ahead. We still have Vitala with us. So that's nice. Okay, so like I said, last time we finally beat Javed, we came back to Vizima, we met uh, with the King, Dandelion, and Siegfried, and now we have to continue through that door, and uh, probably will be the last one. So, let's uh, move on. Okay, that was a fun little surprise. Okay, so Triss uh, did uh, go through the door. Oh, and I uh, rested bef uh, before coming, before starting this episode. I have all my potions. And I spent the gold talents on these three skills. I got the last one. And we have one more level. Until we're max. Okay. You have anything to say we to need us? To hurry. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, madman. Wonder what he wants. Hello. Go away! There were monsters in the cellar. I'll die anyway. They'll find me. They'll get me. Calm down. How do we get out? Through the window. Thanks. Okay, you heard the man. Through the window. Uh, I want to check something. Uh, what was it? Show active quests only. Actually, uh, never mind that. Let's look if uh, there are any X's. Okay, not seeing anything right now. Okay, so we don't have uh, any quests that are uh, failed. That's good to know. Okay, where are we? Oh, hello, Eva. So you live. The sight of you sickens me. I'm in no mood for riddles. Teruviel is dead. I know enough to blame you for her death. You certainly played a part. Okay, I think the second one, if we don't want to fight him here, so I don't want to fight him. Up, uh, drowning the world in blood. Open your eyes, Yaven. Your beloved war killed her. Stop drowning the world in blood. Try building for a change. Humans, elves, dwarves, we all hate. We all kill. This cannot go on. The fail, wolf. Okay, nice. We didn't have to kill him. But now we have these guys. Have to get dirty. The only way to the monastery leads through the sewers. The order doesn't guard it. 
Not since Azugal made its nest there. A big one. It's had a lot of fresh meat. I hope it hasn't had time to procreate. I doubt it found a mate. Zoogles don't need mates. They're hermaphrodites. Oh, that's uh, nice to hear. Okay, so where do we have to go? Fire over here. Probably for this door. I'm not gonna take actually. Yeah. We don't need it, but. Let me drink my potion so we'll be ready. And should I use anything on the, on the blades? What does that. Uh, I think it was with a Z. Okay, so we have to go for the tentacles and steel and silver, basically useless, okay. So I can't use anything. I can use this. Increase our damage a little bit. With both swords. And since we have three of them, why not use it on this one? Okay, uh, where's Triss? He's in the door. Okay, where is he? It's somewhere in the sewers. Any advice? Don't get eaten. I'm serious. Stay out of range of its tentacles. Zoogles harbor all kinds of contagion. If you have any spells against infection... I should have. Let's go. I don't think we need Swallow. But I, I, I don't mean Swallow. The, one, the other one, the cat. Should be pretty visible. Okay, let's dance. Okay, so silver. Okay, tentacles.
Okay, I couldn't really make heads or tails of what I was supposed to do, but uh, fire seems to work. Okay, so we have remains. Okay, good. Don't uh, really know what I can make with that, but... Okay, let's go. Uh, which way? Probably through this door. But we have a body here. We eat a lot of stuff. And let's see what we can make with that uh, venom. Grants one silver and one gold. Not really necessary right now, but... Alright, let's move on. Typical. A mob led by a madman. Again, someone will have to decide for them. This time, it'll be us. I'd rather they made their own decisions. Are you sure that's what they want? We need to give them the chance. Let's go. Do we have anybody we know around here? Maybe someone we can talk to? By the way, from this point onwards, I don't uh, remember anything, so mostly blind. Eternal fire. Yeah, okay, these guys don't know anything. Fire works very well against these guys. Very nice. And let's go kill those guys as well. Probably not gonna make it to level 50, but all right. Time for the end. Do I just go in, or do you talk to me? Almost there. We'll find Jacques de Aldersburg in the monastery. Damn, I'm out of potions. Could I ask you to? Geralt, what would you do without me? Wait here. I'll be back in a blink. Okay, so we tricked Triss. Go on, go in. Alright, what do we do here? Got fireplace. I don't really need it. Hello, boys. Halt! No passage. Grandmaster's orders. I'm here on a matter of national importance. Shove off. The Grand Master seeks solitude. Sorry, you give me no choice. 
Flaming rose are afraid of fire. Okay, we have a key, gold, some fruit. Don't want it. Okay, let's uh, go meet the grandmaster. Behold my people, they feast at my table, find warmth at my fire, and glow with happiness to be separated from the turmoil of war. You're deluded if you think the sight of women and children will make me leave you alone. I do not intend to deceive you. The white frost approaches, a cataclysm that will bury the world beneath snow and ice each night. I dream of icy wastelands and the death of the old civilizations. I've heard Ithlina's prophecy. The cataclysm is unavoidable. Kings prefer to wage local wars to expand their influence, while elves have become terrorists fighting for a lost cause. The world needs a savior, a man of the moment, someone to kindle the flame in people's hearts. Ha! Uh, you, savior of the world. Come, I will show you something. Humans are weak, frail, and inclined toward evil. I shall create a new man, perfect, tempered in the eternal fire. Finished? Because if you are... You doubt me? I do not blame you. I had my doubts too. Yet now, my vision is strong. Okay, where are we? Behold. The scales will fall from your eyes, and you will understand. Juggler's tricks. I expected more. You think this an illusion? Oh no, Geralt. It's nothing of the sort. Where are we? See for yourself. Follow me. Now that you have seen the ice-encased towers of Vizima, do you understand? You're rambling to Aldersburg. What do you want? This is the future. The White Frost has destroyed human civilization. This is the end of time. Do we lose heart, surrender? Never. We can yet avoid our fate. Save your rhetoric for the plebs. Understand. The Order and Salamandra acted only to save humanity. Every criminal claims a higher cause. You lack humility. Time for a lesson in some.
Come on, hit them. Don't really need the ingredients, but... The unexpected awaits you here. How did you get here? You're stronger than the Grand Master thought. You summoned me. How? The Grand Master invited you into a vision of the future enclosed in his mind. Yet you brought your own visions and specters. So this isn't real? It's more than a dream. Should you die here, your death will be very real. I shall accompany you, assist you. But only a blizzard follows us with nothing beyond it but death. Okay, so we have to run. What's that skull head? Do we have an entry on a skull head? Skull head, okay. What are sensitive to silver? Okay, so we fight them with silver. Is uh really pretty actually, all this snow. I think if we go back into that blizzard, we die automatically. Never tried it, and I don't want to try it now. changed a bit, Witcher. Again, you emerge from nowhere to kill humans. What humans? As always, you're perplexing. Behold the remains of humanity. Ape men, wretched creatures worthy of disdain. Some my own great-grandchildren. They're human? The White Frost has stripped humanity of its luxurious robes. All that's left are beasts that think only of eating and procreating. They are human no longer. Their base instincts drive them like the lynch mob from which you saved me. I'm grateful. Take my gift. Okay, she gave us Swallow. And Tony all. Uh, contains Albedo. Okay, so... I don't want them, sorry. Should teleport away. I see you have met our degenerate great grandchildren. Do you understand now why you cannot oppose my plan? You have yet to say how all this ice justifies your crimes. Only a grand plan pursued without hesitation could save humanity from what I saw in my visions. Trust your daydreams that much? I never asked for these visions, this gift. But you chose how to use it. Many times you insisted special gifts should be used for just causes. I chose the most just of causes, saving millions of lives. And pursued it by ending hundreds of others. 
How many more do you aim to condemn? You have no notion of the approaching cataclysm. The spirits of those who perished wander here. Tell them they had no right to survive. No remains. All right. You again. You cannot stop this, Witcher. Death follows you. Anymore? Oh, hello, Selina. Murderers never know peace. Those thoughts always come too late. As if I had a choice. You never knew feelings that controlled your every step. Okay, not sure what to choose. Not sure what the effects it has. I'm gonna go with the second one. There's always choice. How can you remain so confident as you stride into fate's jaws? I cannot bring myself to leave you here. Okay, so we have another fighting companion. Okay, we're almost at the top. And Selena's moving uh, very slowly. Finally understand, obstinate witcher. Humanity will perish. The few who remain will become animals. My plan would avoid this. What plan, damn it? The human nations can only survive the cold through a mass exodus south. With you leading them? I'm prepared to do so. I see the future. I command respect. I would rule well. Of course, I had to get rid of any standing in the way, especially non-humans. Why so obsessed about other races? I was prepared to sacrifice anything, to save humanity at all costs. Do you know the saying, the ends justify the means? I do. You sound pathetic to Eldersburg, as if you believed your own lies. Non-humans, their extinction is not a goal, but a means. Since you detest humans so, I'll leave you with my no longer human serfs. You have much in common. You should get along.
Wow, Igni works really well. Especially if you have it maxed. You thought you could stand aside. I wanted no part of politics. I'm a witcher. I'm neutral. We fought for those we love. You scorn that, for you'll never understand it. A machine created to kill. You had no choice. Your time has passed. You're obsolete. The world has no use for you. Lay down your sword and rest, Geralt. Have the courage to face me, Jacques. Stop hiding behind specters and illusions. I'll find you. You won't get the chance. Okay, nothing of interest. Only all, don't care. It's just an illusion, Triss. How stubborn you are. I could use you to shepherd my sheep during the first years of winter. I doubt you mean it. You stole our secrets from Kaer Morin. Used them for the worst ends. Witches were meant to be guardians, but proved too weak. You loathe yourselves. I needed witches, but perfect ones. Emotionless, lacking human weaknesses. You see human traits as weaknesses? I pity you. Fear obscures your thinking. My knights never hesitate. Look, Geralt. Humans, monsters. Easy to mistake one for the other. True, Your Highness. I should know, wouldn't you say? The Grand Master is clearly a madman. Even I wouldn't dare pursue a plan like his. We must stop him. Milady, your wish is my command. You have class, a rare quality. I wish to fight alongside you. Call it a whim. Whoa. A low trigger. of the vision he controls all you must go on alone see you Triss I'll be back good luck Geralt okay so now we rest
Okay, so we haven't reached level 50. That's a shame. But we came close. I'm not going to put any more points. I'm going to leave these as they are. Potions. Blade coatings. I don't need any more. I'm going to use this for this. And where is it? Spectre oil for the silver one. Let me save. I don't know if we actually had to rest, but... Okay, let's apply these. As from what I remember, Spectre Oil is going to be useful against the Grandmaster because he summons... Uh, what were they? The fire things. Ifrits. Okay, let's go. Hopefully none of my... Uh... Lightning Storm. Does this stay with us? Should probably drink my potions again to refresh all of this. Let's do that. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, do you see the need to act, whatever the price? Geralt, open your eyes, open your mind. They treat people like you at St. Lebiota's Hospital. By pursuing me, you proved me right. You faced the dangers that humanity faces and survived. Jacques de Aldersburg, your dream is over. Patience. You may yet change your mind. Imagine thousands traversing an icy wasteland. Could you defend them? You and a handful of witches ridden with doubt, like Berengar? Impossible. Only the greater brothers can do that. But they need to be taught and led. They need you. I'm gonna go with the first one. I also have an offer. Surrender. Withdraw your mutants. Humble yourself before the king. You'll save many lives. How confident you seem. A painful lesson awaits. Okay, so mutants first. We still have our uh, potions active, so that's good. But uh, the storm disappeared. Okay, that was easy. Can't fight them what? Okay, I think the Ifrits come in uh, one at a time. And strangely fire hurts them. What happened? Am I frozen? Ok, 
Okay, time to bring out the silver. Oh, don't knock me down. Come on, get up, get up. Run away. Salamandra is dying, soon to be a memory. Salamandra means nothing. It was but a particle of chaos, the tool of the madman you just slew. Your past, your destiny, the reasons for your resurrection all remain unknown. Words, words, words. You tried cheating destiny. You took an oath, remember? I am here to collect on that promise. I remember nothing. Reflect on your deeds, Witcher. I stood near you when you arrived at Kermoran, an omen of its downfall. I observed as you judged the villagers of the outskirts, leaving only blood and fire behind you. You brought death upon Raymond, and danger Shani, mindful only of your goals. Chaos followed in your wake. You slaughtered dozens with your witch's sword. You helped create the foundations for the Order's fanatical reign. You left Vizima in chaos, only to bring destruction upon murky waters. Every one of your decisions brought further devastation. Each choice you made led to greater evil. Vizima blazes. The Order and the Scoia'tael bleed, Tameria. Does your neutrality not taste bitter? Stop. Do not deny it, Witcher. You are my greatest champion, a perfect means of destruction. Wherever you walk, death and chaos follow. Now, as it was years ago, accept it. Do not fight it. Give up to me yet another man you destroyed. Jacques de Aldersberg is mine. You dare to oppose me? I sense your weakness as your life seeps from your wounds. With every drop, death draws nearer. You stand no chance against me. Yield to me. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I hate this guy. He's an uh, ASS. So. Never. This is between him and me. You aim to kill him anyway. True, but for my reasons, and they are nothing to you. Clear off while you can. Go before it's too late. You want to fight me? So be it. Your flight from death ends here. Draw your sword. I was afraid you'd suggest chess. Okay, Wraiths are surprisingly weak to fire. There we go. What's left? Do I just attack him?
That sword is for monsters. Okay, so we're teleported back. And what happens now? You're awake, Gerald. I was getting worried. Dandelion? Where's the Grand Master? A few steps away. He's dead. For a minute there, I thought you were gone too. Hardly a pleasant nap. Was I out long? Long enough. The fighting has been quelled. Foltest has regained control. However, Triss supported him. The effects have been shocking. Is she all right? She's fine. She stayed by you until I arrived. Then she had to go. You know, political duties. Caught between the king, her sorceress friends, and her personal life. What about you? Did you succeed? Yes. I'll take the final element from Jacques and close this chapter. Okay guys, so like it says down there to end the story recover recover the stolen secrets. So we have to go to the remains. Wow, look at that name. Remains of Jack the Aldersburg, Grandmaster of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Okay. So this is gonna be the end. The end of the game, not the episode. So I'm going to be seeing you guys in the second installment in The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. But uh, when I'm going to do that, uh, I don't know, maybe next week, maybe a week from that. Haven't decided yet. So let's finish this game. Let's finish the adventure. Let's loot the Grandmaster. And he has Dimeritium Amulet. I wonder why. And the uh, stolen secrets. We have our weapons, the armor that are gonna be imported into the next game. These are not gonna come, at least I don't think so. And now I think we have to go talk to Dandelion and end the game. So I'm gonna stop talking until the end. I don't know if it's gonna go into credits or anything. But uh, I'm gonna say it now. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a nice day. So, did you recover everything? Know what I found on the Grand Master? A Dimeridium pendant. The one you gave Alvin? I don't know. It looks the same, but older. He must have worn it under his armor for years. A true keepsake, perhaps. Maybe it was his way of repelling hostile magic. Or it was there to control inborn abilities, unrelenting visions. That's something we'll never know. It doesn't matter. Jacques de Aldersburg, if that was his name, is dead. End of story. What's next, Geralt? What do you mean? Come now. You've recovered what was stolen, punished those who hurt you, you played politics and dismantled conspiracies. You've loved, you've killed. You've come a long way, Geralt. What do you intend to do now? I'm tired, Dandelion. I want peace and quiet. As I thought. I've known you for years and never seen such fatigue in your eyes. People expected too much of you. Yet, as always, you rose to the challenge, no matter how unreasonable it seemed. Don't get me wrong. I'm overjoyed to be able to talk to you again. But perhaps you should have stayed there, on the Isle of Avalok. Seems I'll never find rest. What can I say? Godspeed on your path, Witcher. It seemed the conflict between the Order of the Flaming Rose and the Scoia'tael would turn Vizima into charred ruins. Foltest, however, found a solution. He let the two sides bleed each other. 
The Order's power waned quickly following the Grand Master's mysterious death. The flower of elven youth perished. Fighting in Vizima's streets, there were no victors. The non-human uprising weakened Tamaria, and Foltest realized he would need capable diplomats. Triss Marigold became a royal advisor. Sorceresses gained influence. The king punished or exiled those who had plotted against him in his absence. They were, of course, soon replaced by others. Common folk saw no difference. They were too busy licking their wounds, seeking loved ones. Few people knew what had actually happened in those days in Vizima. They were those who destiny had brought together with Geralt of Rivia. Yet, they chose to remain silent. What then happened to the Witcher? That is a different tale entirely. Andradania are allies, thanks in no small part to you. For your toil, a worthy pouch of gold. Your Highness. Master. Thank <laughs> you. 